Hey everybody, welcome back to Tasting Tuesday. Now, I realized I haven't opened a bottle of carriage house in a while, which is silly because this is what mom calls the everybody loves me wine. It's got the fruit, it's got the structure, it's approachable, it's, it's delicious. So it pairs with so many different kinds of things. How can you not love carriage house? And that's similar to how can you not love the Yakima Valley, especially this month while we're talking about sustainability, because this is one of the most amazing places in the world for that intersection of quality and sustainability. And um, we talked about how important site selection is and being on these hillsides is important for frost protection. We've talked about how the fact that it's a dry climate is so important for disease control. The next thing in our sustainability series that I want to talk about is uh, resource utilization because that's important for sustainability that you're applying, you're using what you have responsibly and appropriately and definitely not too much ever um, because that would just be wasteful, which isn't sustainable either environmentally or, or economically. But the good thing here is that all of the decisions that we make and like I said, it wouldn't be responsible or economical. The decisions we make here are good for quality and the environment. I mean, we talk about things like canopy management is super important for quality. And if you look at these vines in the picture behind me, they're not super big. They're as they have enough growth and enough canopy that the vines are healthy and the grapes will ripen and get all that wonderful flavor, but they're not too much. And we control that with the amount of water we give them, which is a win-win. And that's really one of the other tickets to why the Yakima Valley is so special with its diversity, because this Cabernet, to get that intensity and that color, you want um, you want more sunlight to get in on these because that really helps get that, that brilliant color and the good phenolics. Um, and then we go to something like Chardonnay, and Chardonnay wants a little more canopy, wants a little more cover. So you don't put water in the Cabernet, but you can put a little more in the Chardonnay. And this is, again, it's, if you're in a wet region, Cabernet is going to get too much water. If you're, in a, if you're in too dry of a region without irrigation, there's not enough in your, and your Chardonnay will get sunburn and phenolic and bitter. So again, everything that works for resource management ties into quality here in the Yakima Valley. And that, this week especially, because Earth Day is coming up in a couple days, we should all be able to drink too happily. Have a great day. See you soon.